Greetings from Southern California. I'm here with my longtime friend and colleague, Lori Zagon. Lori and I met, first met in New York City in 1987. At the time, Lori was teaching color and light theory at the City University of New York. And she was also an abstract artist. In the early 90s, I believe it was, you gave some workshops at the Healthcare uh, Design Symposium. Um, so how did going through these workshops help healthcare design professionals? Well, one of the things I think that happened is that they had never seen anybody do this before. So with 180 people in a ballroom painting with acrylic paints, I mean, the hotel was okay with it, I think probably because we didn't mention it too soon. But anyway, um, it was um, exciting because many of them came up to me afterwards and said, you know, with the profession they're in, they haven't had a chance to paint or to do something visually creative other than maybe some the architects or designers their work is creative but in a different way and so just to come and play with paint and also um, work with ideas about what's appropriate colors for healthcare for instance we used one of the workshops for that but with all these people painting the most important thing was that once again they became little kids painting and had so much fun we had Oprah style microphones and people got up and shared about how profoundly, how much profound feeling came out of them that surprised them when they tapped into the colors and feelings. And so that was something that really interested me that, wow, I mean, these are professionals and really successful in their careers. And here they are, like saying that, like they feel five, five years old again painting. So that was what I think really helped. I mean, it made them think about color. I mean, I did talk a little bit about color relationships, but mostly it was about them and them doing something that was an expression of their soul out on paper. In those days, we used paper again. And they did a great job. And, and a lot of them came back the next year when I did it. And they said, oh, I came last year. I'm going to do it again. But it was fun for me. 180 people was a lot. Yeah. But it was like mind-blowing to have everybody painting like that. So it was great. Well, and I think when you think of conferences like that, a lot of times you go and you, you're learning you, you know, case studies of what people are doing in the field, but to really experience something that allows you to open up your own inner creativity or your own thoughts, I, that's valuable as well. That's a learning experience as well. Yeah. Well, I talked a lot about full spectrum color, and that was something that meant a lot to me, that it was a facsimile of light. When you use full spectrum color, you get this incredible light in art. And so I think that um, that was something that I could tie in, full spectrum color in hospital settings or in office spaces, that the way they would begin to use color would be not so much as like what matched, but what would be the best way to go. And I think, I remember a lot of times in those days, people were just using too much yellow in hospitals and so we began to talk about and green. Yeah. yeah and we began to talk about like let's mix it up a little bit what about some violet what about more blues opposite colors and and um, I saw it you know I saw it in the book that you and I did together the power of color creating healthy interior spaces where we had pictures of some of those wonderful um, works that people did in the design field for healthcare so it was great for me to just to be an outsider, kind of coming in and adding something that maybe they hadn't done before. Yeah, well, you've contributed so much to so many people's lives. Mm -hmm. I really admire and respect what you've done, and I'm so glad we've stayed friends all these years. I know, it's 30 years. <laughs> I love it. Oh, don't tell anybody that. <laughs> well, you know, we were children. Like we were children, yeah. yes, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> great, well, thank you, and I'm so glad that you came to visit. I am too.